I have decided to finally allow myself to be hairy. A road less travelled for women, somewhat out of the ordinary. And I want to know why I'm so reluctant to be in my natural state. I think it started when he pointed at my legs in disgust, when I was only eight. Yeah, I still remember you, mate. I've walked this legacy of shame, used blades to slice away the disgrace, plucked and waxed every wayward hair from my body and my face. Every tweezer, every razor, every epilation caused me physical pain. But the rashes and the blood didn't stop me from doing it again and again. Because I never truly felt I had a choice. Never really knew that these legs had a voice. That ask the question, why? The taboo of female body hair is something that we cannot deny. Why does a bald body equal femininity? When in some places hair is a symbol of divinity, a sign of a goddess in the immediate vicinity. Why do I feel scared of the summer? When the heat is high and I want to show a bit of thigh, It takes a mountain of courage to try and shrug off all those awkward stares, find a soft place inside where I no longer care about the abundance of my leg hair. It does sting me though, the pointing and the laughing, just so you know. Why is it okay for him and not for me? Another mark of inequality. Why is a woman in her innate way of being something that we are so triggered by in seeing? This is my body's bare-skinned display. The freedom of choice to be accepted as it is each day. Be it hairy or smooth shaved, waxed or natural, nothing more to prove that it is the body of a woman. Are you there? Supporters of my furry emancipation, advocates of a shy and exposed declaration that my obsessive hair removal has reached its point of cessation. Thank you witnessing this vulnerability as I stand before you unveiled and completely me.